welcome. On this channel, we talk about face care, hair care, things we like, like food and purses. Oh, did I mention food? Outfits of the day, pearls, good books to read. We share our successes, and it's just a great overall coffee clutch. I hope you'll join me, and a big heartfelt thanks. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join us here. And if you're returning, hello. Today I am doing a video um, kind of copying a video that I watched, The Technique, to see, okay, is it really going to work? And it's from um, Puff and Fluff. I think that's the name of her channel, Puff and Fluff. I'm going to link it below. And um, it was fantastic. It really was. She put out a video, and I have seen other videos that she's done, and I like her. Um, but she put out a video on maturing aging skin so that your makeup doesn't look cakey. And if you're a powder person like I am, that happens to be an issue for me. Yes, there are times where I can just look at my skin and go, wow, it looks cakey. So what I did, I watched her video, and um, then later on this morning, uh, you know, I had to get a shower, got my shower, did my hair, and I thought, you know, I think I'm going to put the video on, and I am going to try her technique. Now, I did not use the same products that she used. Maybe one was similar, um, but um, I did replicate her technique. If she used a sponge for an application, I used the sponge I had. If she used a brush, I went with the tight, same type of brush. Uh, she like defined, well, I'm using this fluffy brush for this application. So I found my fluffy brush and I wanted to actually duplicate her technique just as close as I could to see if I was going to get this nice, fresh face look without looking too cakey or really emphasizing my maturing skin because y'all know I have maturing skin. So this is the finished look. Now disregard my eyes because I did my own eye application with my own color and then mascara but we're just talking about my skin. That's all we're talking about is just the skin and I really loved what she um, showed in her technique and what she shared and so I'm not going to wait until the end of the video to say yes I think it's a great technique I loved it I do love it I think it looks fresh it looks great and um, I'm going to share a couple of her techniques with you but I am going to link that specific video in case you're interested and I think that this look is so fresh and light and clean looking and it's perfect for entering into the spring season. I just think it was just such a pretty, pretty look. She does highlight a few, um, brings out a few points about, um, you know, when we are doing videos or putting a video together, our skin might look like totally flawless. Um, but most times our skin has full face foundation on. Now I've done videos where I've just, I just did one recently where I just basically used my concealer by NARS and I use that as my foundation. I've done videos where I'm just using BB cream or CC cream. Um, sometimes I'm just doing powder foundation. So what I was interested in is the under eye area and she really goes into some explanation about you know how to avoid those fine lines the wrinkles and the the area of your skin that um, 
you know, your makeup or your powder just seeps into and emphasizes. So I was interested in that. And she has a couple of new techniques for applying um, highlighter. And y'all know I love wearing highlighter and blush. Very interesting and very different from anything I've ever done. So it's a great video and I would encourage you to watch it. And so basically what I'm going to do since I just went ahead and watched her video and as she was doing each particular um, application, I just stopped the video and I did the application and if I wasn't sure, I went back and looked at it and did it as she was going along. So I'm going to share with you what I used on my face today to get this. And I do think that it's um, very fresh looking and um, just pretty, just a pretty look. So. First of all, um, I washed my face, um, toned it, moisturized it, and I especially moisturize underneath my eye area as I always do. And then the first step was to take care of that under eye area. And so for me, what I used today was Origins Ginseng. This is really a very nice um, under eye area. Um, it says refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff on the go. So um, I've had this for a while. I don't use it every day, but it is really nice. And when she said she was using basically an eye cream, hers had a little bit of light pigmentation in it. This is what I get from this ginseng. So this is what I use today. And of course, follow her steps in applying the eye cream and where to apply it. That's what's really important. Um, she does talk about applying the eye cream basically in the corner here of your eye um, because it's this other area where the wrinkles or lines may be more defined. So basically in this area, and this is pretty much where my dark skin area is and then I followed along with her application. Now, I will tell you that, you know, sh she did use some brushes and some sponges and the sponges that I did use today, and she actually did demonstrate part of the technique with the Tati sponge, but I pretty much love this for just about everything, but I did use my little Tati sponge for under my eye after tapping it in and then I um, applied that. So when she used a sponge, I used a sponge. If she used a brush, I used a brush. And then after that, um, taking care of that under eye area, then um, she did talk about using some sort of, um, I believe, a primer on her skin. And after I do my face and let my moisturizer and all that sink in, I do use a primer. Um, now I will tell you, today, I sat down, I had the primer out, and I never put it on. But I do need it because when I blow up or look at my skin, I can still see my pores coming through. And the whole idea is to cover up your pores and at least let your makeup look flawless and light. So that's really important. Use your primer. Um, next was um, foundation. And so my choice today was this NARS, and this is in Yukon. And the idea in the video is that, she, oh, I'm getting a glare here, is that she used um, very little foundation, very little. And so I literally put a dot of foundation on about like that. Honestly, that's it. And I took my finger and I tapped it. All around and she explains to you you know where to put your foundation and then after I did that I went through and used my um, oh I think I put it up yes I did my Zova brush and it was the it's called color love makeup and it's the silk finish brush um, and I smooth everything out with this brush and um, she will talk to you about each step that 
you're doing and tell you why it's important to use a non-dense brush or why you want to use a fluffy brush under your eyes. I mean, really goes into great depth and um, explains things. So that's what I did. And then after putting on the makeup, um, then she does talk about um, uh, setting under your eyes and the type of brush that she used to set under your uh, under the eyes now this is what i normally use this is just an elf brush Woo! you can see i've used it um and i always set with my setting powder under my brush but obviously i have not been doing it properly and so today she talked about using a, a fluffy brush and this has kind of got a little dome on it and then exactly how to apply that setting um, powder under your eyes and um, how to get the lightest um, blending to set so that that area doesn't run. Very informative, very good. Um, just really, really, I learned a lot from watching that video. And um, then after doing that, um, she did some powder to her face, which I was very happy about because I'm a powder girl and I believe she is too. But then with a fluffy brush, and of course I used my IT um, cosmetic brush, she told you exactly how and where to apply it on your skin you know and a light hand light hand everything with a light hand um, and I will be watching that video again just to make sure I get this technique down pat but exactly where to apply it on your skin where your skin is the oilist or where you see your makeup you know running off of your face or breaking down the area that your hands might come into contact with your skin. So makes a lot of sense. And I followed that technique that she suggested. And then um, she went, she didn't do any demonstration of her eyebrows or her eye chattel that she used um, putting that on. It was just basically skin and not having your skin with a cakey um, look. And then then she talked about um, applying your blush, and it was it was awesome. It was not like anything I've ever done before, and it was it. I just think it looks so natural and so pretty and light, and it was wonderful. And then also a different technique for using um, a highlighter now. She used a liquid highlighter and I have soft focus glow drops that I've had that came in one of my FabFitFun boxes and I've used some of it. It's nice, but her technique on how to use it and where to use it was just great. It was great. And it's not really where you'd expect you're going to use then your blush. It's just a whole different technique. Um, loved the way it looks and so I did use that as a highlighter here and then after that um, she talks about using a bronzer um, not to sculpt um, because of course that's just not what we do with everyday looks we don't really sculpt but just to bronze put that nice little sun kiss on your face and where to apply it and how to apply it and what to do and then a little emphasis with a technique of powder under the cheekbone it it was just really different and um, a technique that i'm sure i am going to use um, quite a bit in my application i think it's going to be a new way for me to just put on my blush and bronzer and um, maybe even cut down on my powder so anyways i was pretty excited about it and um, i took a picture after i was finished just with my skin and uh, not putting on my eye makeup and um, then of course afterwards I just had to bring out my Chanel highlighter because I'm in love with it you all know that and I just brushed a little bit on the tip of my nose and on my chin and um, that was it um, 
I, oh no, no, I did. I did take my highlighting brush and I just added just a couple little um, spots because I just, I love the way it looks. I think it's a beautiful highlighter, but then I went in and I did my eye makeup and I'm using my Urban Decay eyeliner 24-7 in um, black and I did the Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow quad today. Uh, what's this one called? Here we go, guys. Dolce Vita. So pretty. I just, I love it. And I've used quite a bit of this can see it's I didn't do any of the sparkle um, on today but just the basic um, the light color all over and then I went in with the um, light tan color and uh, that was it and then on my lips I used my chubby stick from Clinique that I pulled out that pretty pink and my buxom this one's white Russian, I no, this is pink champagne. And so that's what I have on. Loved it. I think this is a great video. I think this is what YouTube should always be about. Sharing, sharing your love of things with others and um, how we can learn from each other. And um, it was just fun to do. So um, yeah, and I've been doing that recently. I tried a new technique with uh, curling my hair because, you know, my hair is not naturally straight. It does have a small um, wave to it, but it's like a crazy wave. And I tried um, somebody's new technique of little spit curls and then using your hot iron. And I've talked about that in a video and it worked out great. So I just thought, you know what, maybe I will do this periodically. Um, just watch a video and see if I can replicate it. And if it works for me, um, then I'm going to share it with you. Let me know if you like this type of video and if you'd like to see more, I'd appreciate it. So until my next video, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye. So guys, thanks for stopping by. This was really fun. I enjoyed the video and um, the new techniques that I learned and I think I'm going to be using it for a while.